What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be adding a couple of tanks to my new tank. I will highlight my acclimation process and showcase each of the fish and also walk you through how I train my tanks to eat nori from a clip. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Before we dive into it, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I really appreciate it and look forward to sharing more great reefing content with you in the future. So I picked up a couple of tangs online. The first thing I did is I brought them into the home and started floating them in the tank to acclimate the temperature of the water. I like to keep these old one gallon little buckets to help with acclimation. I can put the fish inside the bucket there and keep, keep the water um, from leaking everywhere if it's dripping and what have you. And then I start to cut open the bag drain a little bit of water out of the bag to prepare for drip acclimation. Now I don't quite have a, a drip line yet, so I've had to, this is a little bit of a slower process and more manual, but it's the same concept. You slowly add water to the bag where the fish is to get them used to the water that they're going to be living in, right? And so I used the turkey baster and slowly added water over the course of 30 minutes to an hour to each bag. And then here I'm just draining more water out to prepare myself to catch the fish in the net and put them into the tank. Now this first fish, the tank police might come after me. Uh, he will get too big and I'll have to rehome this fish, but it is a blue hippo tang. But not just any blue hippo tang, this is an African yellow belly blue hippo tang. So it's a tang I've actually never owned or cared for in the past, and I'm excited about this fish. The belly is a little bit muted right now. It's not yellow quite yet, but you can kind of tell it's a little faded. And um, as this fish gets older and matures, that yellow be will become more pronounced. But just a, you know, awesome fish. I love I love hippo tangs. But yes, they do they do get big. But um, this fish came in at about two inches big, um, but fat and and healthy, and. He's done really, really well um, so far in the last little bit um, since I've added him to the tank. And here he is just kind of cruising around, getting used to the new living situation. Again, a, yes, yes, smaller, smaller in size, but pretty, pretty fat, pretty healthy. I'm pretty pleased with this particular fish. Very, very cool. Okay, on to the next one. So the next fish is a little bit larger. It is a bristle tooth tang. It's a square tail bristle tooth tang. And um, this fish is gonna not get, it's, it's actually a great fish. It's not gonna get too large for my tank. They only get to be five or six inches max. And he's already a pretty good size, but I got this fish instead of a fox face to help me have somebody immediately go to work on algae. And bristle tooth tangs are great for controlling algae. They spend all day grazing on the rock and stuff like that. So I decided to go not with my gut and get a fox face, which probably, you know, those get too large anyway, probably for my tank and I have to rehome them too. But for this fish, um, which should do a pretty good job of keeping algae under control. Now both of these tangs I added, um, I add them at the same time. I like to do, if I'm going to do some tangs, add them in pairs, keep aggression down. But they're both pretty mild-mannered tangs, so I haven't had any problems. And, you know, this is a little silly. This net is almost too small at this point for this fish. But I, I caught them, and uh, an awesome-looking fish. A little col a little muted in its color, but in the day, in, in bright light, um, a beautiful fish. You can see the little spots and things of that nature, and it has a yellow tone to it. So, um and the lips are kind of purple. Just a great, a cool fish uh, for sure. Pretty happy with it too. And you'll notice I kept the tank lights off um, the day I added these fish. That's another part of my acclimation process is just to help with that acclimation. They're in dark bags and boxes and shipping, so I kept all the lights off. And here we have the hippo tang with lights on a few days later, getting some close-ups. Again, you see that belly is a little bit faded, a little bit muted, some white coming in there as this fish matures and gets bigger that will slowly start to yellow so that'll be cool to document and watch 
Now you'll notice I, I don't have a quarantine setup and some people are very passionate about quarantine setups. I've, I've had quarantine tanks before. I can't say from my experience I have better survival, to be honest, when I have a quarantine tank set up and I do things that way. Um, but I am taking some risk adding fish directly to the tank like this. I'm hoping to mitigate some risk with UV and buying fish from a reputable source. But yes, there's certainly some risk. But both fish are eating really well and, and, and doing really, really well. And I haven't seen any, any spots or any ick of that nature. So I'm really grateful. Fortunate, to be honest. So this is, you know, at this point, it's like day two. The bristle tooth, she's a little bit shy, certainly. A little bit more timid, hiding under the rock. So it's hard to get a good shot of her in the, in the light. But uh, I, I think it's a beautiful fish. Um, certainly not as bright and vivid as your yellow tang or something like that, but um, she's doing really great and has gone to work cleaning algae off the rocks, some of the diatoms already. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with both fish, and they're both eating well and, and just doing fantastic. So it's exciting to have some tangs and some movement in the tank. Now, when it comes to getting my tangs to eat nori from a clip, I always start out with some of Julian's sea veggies. And, and Julian's kind of a... Uh, like a celebrity in the hobby and well-respected hobbyist. But I've had the most success with this seaweed. And after some time, I start to just get normal nori that you can pick up at the grocery store. But this is what I use when I first pick up some tangs, if they're new or if they're having trouble going after the food on the clip, right? And I picked this up off Amazon. I will put an affiliate link to this product in the description below if you'd like to give it a try. So my approach is actually very casual has always been successful, but it's a little messy. So my approach to getting tangs to eat nori from the clip. And what I do is I roll up some seaweed, I actually wetten it first, I roll it up, hook it to the clip and leave it in the tank for one to two days. And while it is in there, I will periodically get some additional nori or seaweed, break it apart into tiny little pieces and let them float throughout the tank. And what I find is the tangs will eat those free floating pieces of nori or seaweed and then start, start to catch on that more food like that can be found from the clip and within a couple of days they just start going after the clip like crazy and so here in this video I'm just showing some nori floating around and you can kind of see the, the tangs are, are pecking at it and, and picking it up throughout the water column and slowly getting kind of used to this type of food that's now in the tank and available to eat. So several hours later I snuck back down by the tank and, and these fish are new so they're timid and I just kind of peeked through the side to see what was going on and, and right off I see the bristle tooth tang shredding up the nori or the sea veggies I suppose in this case Julian sea veggies and going after it and so I was successful really quickly at, at getting the bristle tooth tang to go after food from the clip. So, um, and then th that took one day. So it, yeah, there was some pollution to the tank, some um, maybe some elevated nutrients for a little bit to get them trained, but it it was pretty easy and um, very successful. I mean, I, I've always done it this way, and it's always kind of just worked out for me. But if you have other techniques, let me know um, what you've done to get your tanks to eat from the clip. Um, I know a lot of people have really struggled with it, um, but this is just kind of what's worked for me. But let me know those techniques and comment below. I'd be interested to hear them out. So if you can get one of your tangs to go after the seaweed or sea veggies or nori from the clip, the other tangs will follow. And even, you know, people have had wrasses and all kinds of fish start eating nori from, from the clip. Uh, my hippo tang has been a little bit slower to adopt it. And hippo tangs in, in the wild, they... They're more of a plankton type eater and I, I try to feed them you know a wide variety of foods but they'll go for nori too it just takes a little bit of time and it's not their preference but um the key is getting one fish to go after it and the others will follow i do know that some people will refrain from feeding their tank for a little bit of time so to make the 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 sea veggies or the nori more appealing i didn't feel comfortable doing that these are new fish i just you know wanted to get them eating as soon as possible and, and here's the hippo. He wasn't eating a lot of nori from the clip, a little bit here and there, but um, to help him adapt to the new environment, you know, started throwing in some mysis. Um, they're both eating pellets too, so they're, they're both really doing fantastic and um, 
you know, it's just worked out great. So there we have it, folks. It's always an exciting time, right, when you can start stocking fish beyond your starter clown or two. Let me know what you think about my bristletooth tang. If you want something similar, so a tang that, that stays smaller but um, does well with algae, cleaning algae, and, but you want a little more color and you have a little bit more funding, go check out the whitetail bristletooth tang. They are awesome. So once again, thank you for tuning in, for all your support. Happy reefing, and we will see you all in the next one.